Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Somos Biology. In this series of lectures, we are talking about apoptosis. What is apoptosis and apoptosis signal pathways? In this particular lecture, we are going to talk about the intrinsic pathway of apoptosis. In the last lecture, we just saw the basics and overview of apoptosis and the properties of apoptosis. Let's start about the intrinsic pathway of apoptosis. What is intrinsic pathway? In very simple terms, I can say that intrinsic pathway means an apoptosis pathway which originates from inside of the cell, internal origin. So basically what we say, the, the intrinsic term is used because the origin is internal. Okay, an internal origin means inside the cytoplasm, that is basically in this case the origin would be mitochondria. That's what we are going to see, how exactly it starts. So mitochondria has an important role to play in the process of intrinsic pathway. That's why you always say intrinsic pathway. Whenever you heard intrinsic pathway of apoptosis, the first thing that you should put in your mind is mitochondria. Mitochondria has the most important role to play. But first things first, these are the important topics. These are the important steps of an apoptosis intrinsic pathway in the sequence that is written in here, starting with the cellular stress. The stress, the origin of the stress that that initiates the process of the process. Then come the then comes the role of mitochondria, the mitochondrial outer membrane re, uh, permeabilization. Okay, so that is very important. Third is the cytochrome C release from the mitochondria. Fourth is apoptosome formation because the intrinsic mechanism of apoptosis always is executed after the apoptosome is formed. Remember that. Intrinsic pathway is related and linked to mitochondria is related to the apoptosome formation. Then caspase activation, the caspase cascade signaling, then execution of apoptosis will be done, apoptotic body formation and phagocytosis and uh, ultimately the release or, or what we can say that removal of the apoptotic bodies. These are the different steps of intrinsic pathway of apoptosis. You don't need to remember this sequence right now because the moment we discuss about the process in details, you'll understand what I mean in every single detailed stages. Okay. So the very first thing that we are going to discuss is this point that is cellular stress. What kind of stress we are talking about? Okay. So whenever say when we talk about cellular stress, it can be three different types of stresses that we can say the stress that can origin internally. Okay, and that stress can be oxidative stress, the, the stress can be DNA damage. These are the two major type of stress that are out there, oxidative stress or DNA damage by any reason, by any means of external uh, like radiations or anything that ultimately leads to DNA damage. Oxidative stress, DNA damage are the different types of stress factor that originates internally and that internal origin of the stress will trigger the activation of mitochondrial mediated intrinsic pathway of apoptosis or cell death. So when I say the mitochondrial, second important step is mitochondrial uh, outer membrane, mitochondrial membrane permeabilization or simply say that mitochondrial outer membrane permeabilization or MOMP, MOMP. MOMP mitochondrial outer membrane permeabilization. So what does that mean? So what he says is that let's imagine this is the whole cell. That's let's let's imagine this is the cell. I'm not going to draw any membrane in there right now because in simple terms, if I draw it like this, this is let's draw it. This is a cell, single layer that is a membrane. And what I can say is that we have a uh, nucleus at one side, we have the DNA straight ahead, I am writing DNA like this and what we have, we have mitochondria, okay. So in this case, the, the image that we are drawing, the nucleus size and the mitochondria size, I am drawing in the same uh, structure but actually in reality, mitochondria is smaller than the size of the nucleus. So I can draw this mitochondria here like this, okay, let's imagine this and this two layers of mitochondrial membrane is very important to understand, okay. And uh, this is cytosol. So this is cytosol. Uh, this is DNA. And this is mitochondria. Okay. And this is membrane. Everything is uh, designated here. Okay. Now what we know is that the very first thing, the internal stress, the origin of the stress, that is the internal origin of the stress. Due to the stress origin, the second important event is the involvement of mitochondria, that is MOMP, mitochondrial outer membrane permeabilization. So basically, there will be formation of pores in the outer membrane of mitochondria. 
so there are proteins uh, known as backs and back backs back these proteins they are known as pro apoptotic proteins because they help in the process of apoptosis so they are known as pro apoptotic proteins backs and back they create pores in the outer membrane of mitochondria i'll take a different color here right now so backs back which are pro apoptotic proteins which causes a formation of pores in the mitochondrial outer membrane and as there are pores in the outer membrane uh, we know that in the intermembrane space of mitochondria that is the space between inner membrane and outer membrane there are cytochrome c designated here with this red dot known as cytochrome c so the moment the mitochondrial membrane has pores in it the outer membrane has pores in it the cytochrome c will migrate from the intermembrane space to the cytoplasm of the cell okay so got this idea third important step cytochrome release the cytochrome c which is present in the intermembrane space of mitochondria start to get released from the intermembrane space to the cytoplasm via the pore created in the outer membrane of mitochondria then comes the fourth step apoptosome formation when we have cytochrome c released in the cytoplasm then the cytochrome c along with apaf1 along with procaspase 9 basically think about cytochrome c and apaf1 along with procaspase 9 caspase is a signaling cascade protein which is involved in the process of apoptosis so apaf1 is present in the cytosol procaspase 9 is present in the cytosol so all these three thing together will form what is known as apoptosome complex so fourth step is a formation of apoptosome complex so apoptosome complex is formed when the cytochrome c gets released into the cytosol associated with apaf1 okay and procaspase 9 together forming the apoptosome complex now the moment apoptosome complex is formed the job of apoptosome complex is to activate the procaspase 9 Remember in the cell cytosol there are different caspases caspase 8 caspase 9 caspase 10 caspase 7 caspase 3 other kinds of caspases but the caspase proteins are always regulated tightly because if the caspase is active then it will cause cell death it will cause dna degradation it will cause the cell shrinkage membrane blebbing all the features of apoptosis but the caspases once produced are present as procaspases 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 means they are not active they are inactive form of caspases so the procaspase 9 gets activated to caspase 9 okay now caspase 9 once active this is not execution of a caspase there are two types of caspases here i must say caspase activation part there are two types of caspases one is the initiator caspase and one is the executioner caspase initiator caspases are caspase 9 caspase 8 caspase 7 these are caspase 10 these are initiator caspases basically and executionary caspases is caspase 3 okay so ultimately this initiator caspases are going to activate executional caspases so caspase cascade or caspase activation means this caspase 9 is going to activate caspase Three. Once caspase three is active, this caspase three is now ready to elicit the cellular response of apoptosis. Okay, then it will execute the apoptosis. This caspase three will then execute the process of apoptosis. Now, what we mean by process of apoptosis or execution of apoptosis? This caspase three is going to activate DNAs. which will break down and degrade the dna in the cell so basically this is the dna it will be degraded it will be fragmented dna fragmentation will be done okay not only dna fragmentation three important characteristics of any apoptosis pathway one is dna fragmentation cell membrane blebbing and cellular shrinkage cellular shrinkage dna fragmentation and cell membrane blebbing these are the three most important characteristics of apoptosis 
all these three things will be done after the caspase 3 is active that is execution of apoptosis once this execution is done at the end what do we have in our hands the dna is fragmented the cell is shrinks fragmented and small debris like components of the cellular bodies are floating in that area covered by membrane known as membrane blebbing so all these fragments are now the remnants of the cell death is there so the seventh step is apoptotic body formation so this is known as apoptotic bodies all these things the fragmented dna the membrane blebb is the shrinkage version of the cell cytosol and every single components that are floating in that area are termed as apoptotic bodies so the death components of the cell after the death of the cell the components are known as apoptotic bodies now we need to clear this apoptotic bodies because this apoptotic body if stays there for a while in that tissue it can initiate the immune response it can initiate inflammatory response which will not be good for the cell because uh, it may lead to several other impact to the neighboring tissues so phagocytosis is the last step in order to get rid of all these apoptotic bodies that are formed as a result of apoptosis all these apoptotic bodies are cleared by either the phagocytic cells the professional phagocytic or engulfing cells or by any neighboring cell they can also engulf the fragments in that way they will engulf the fragments and they'll clear that place of death it's not only the death which is important it's very important to look at the process to inhibit the inflammatory response and also uh, to inhibit the dna repair mechanisms in order to continue with the process of apoptosis remember this in your mind if by any chance dna repair mechanism is triggered then the fragmentation of dna once done the repair mechanism will try to repair it and fix it that will be wastage of time wastage of energy for the cell for the tissue so they will not allow that so that's all about the process of intrinsic pathway of apoptosis involving mitochondria involving the formation of apoptosome complex involving the involvement of apaf1 involving caspase 3 and caspase cascade so that's all about intrinsic pathway of apoptosis if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel uh, to get more videos like that in future okay and the next lecture we are going to talk about extrinsic pathways of apoptosis in details so watch the video on extrinsic pathway of apoptosis thank you bye